What is going on guys, you got Tone here bringing you the playoffs of the National Exhibition Syndicate. The regular season is behind us and the main Red Clotters are holding down the number 3 spot in the postseason, finishing with a record of 11-4. and four. Um, come, We are coming into the playoffs on a very, very solid 5 game winning streak, trying to keep the momentum here. Um, the quarterfinals are here, we play... One of the commissioners of the league and Fluka coach of the Toronto Star Raptors. Um, we bowed them a few weeks back pretty recently and we came away with a solid 3 nothing win. And I know they're looking for, he's looking for revenge against me. And it's pretty crazy considering that all the other matches have been played and all the top, the top um, teams in the league have actually lost. So... The number one team in the league lost, number two team in the league lost, and the number four team in the league lost. So, essentially, um, I am the only high-ranking team left in the postseason, which is very, very scary. And it shows that I, you cannot take anyone in the league for granted whatsoever. No matter where you are sitting in the playoffs, if you don't bring your A-game, and I'm not going to lie... All the matches that were played prior to this one, this was the last match out of all four of the um, playoff matches. All three of the playoff matches were exceptionally, exceptionally close. Like there was one O's and there was like a three O, but it it wasn't. It was a three O win for one team, but it wasn't like a convincing three O. So I really had to make sure I was on my game this um come playoff time. Um, and if you remember my team for when I played the Star Raptors a few weeks back. This is pretty much the exact same team I brought, with the exception of one change. It's the same six Pokemon I brought. The only thing I changed on my team was I rep I changed my Kiram set from Choice Band to just an all-out attacking set. Um, I figured going off of the last match, he would not he did not bring Mega Deancey, and I rolled the dice this time, figuring he wouldn't bring Mega Deancey again, and my assumption was correct. Um, he himself also brought the exact same team with the exception of he did not bring the Scarf Sock again. He this time instead brought Ranunculus. Other than that, his entire team was exactly the same. Since he didn't bring the Scarf Sock, I assumed that the um, Latias was a rage was um, Choice Scarf as it's the only Pokemon on the team that he brought that would make sense to put a Choice Scarf on. So just to run down my team really, really fast, um, substitute Baton Pass. Scolipede, Substitute Baton Pass, Protect, and Megahorn. Enough speed to outspeed the Latias. Um, max HP, give those subs as much bulk as possible. Assault Fish, Strutigan, Dragon Claw, Fire Punch, Iron Head, in case about the Mega Deancey, and Sucker Punch, Max Attack, enough speed to outspeed Uninvested Registeel, rest in HP. Um, this is my way of dealing with the Registeel, and if, he get weakened, if the, weak, if the Registeel gets weakened, and and or eliminate it, I can freely click Hyper Voice with my Mega Gardevoir, even though he has that Entei. So, I have to keep that in mind. Next up, we have the Manaphy, Tail Glow, Tail Glow, Scald, Psychic, and Shadow Ball. Psychic for the Amoongus and the potential Tentacruel. Shadow Ball hits the Ranunculus and the Latias. And Skull, which is a spam will move in general. And max HP, Timid Nature, with enough speed to outspeed an adamant max speed Entei, Resin Special Attack. Um, fourth, Mega Gardevoir, Wish Protect. Psy Shock, Hyper Voice, Physically Defensive. Just in case he brought that Scarf, that Scarf Sock again with Poison Jab, I could take at least one. Retaliate with a Hyper Voice, knock it out. Um, wish to wish and protect to keep myself healthy and the scout for moves. Um, Kiram Black is this time all out attacking Life Orb with um, Dragon Claw, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Fusion Bolt. Um, Hasty Nature, enough speed to outspeed, a adamant max speed Entei, max attack, rest, and special attack. Does it give a boost to Ice Beam and Earth Power? It's my, also my secondary way of dealing with Wretched Steel to free up the um, my Garden for, for spamming Hyper Voice. And lastly, same exact Lantern says last time, Agility, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, um, Modest Nature, max special attack, with enough speed on my Lantern to outspeed a adamant Choice Scarf. Sock, but he did not bring this time. So looking at his team, the team he brought this time, um, he brought the Ranunculus, and I cannot stress enough about how much how scary Ranunculus is if you let it set up. I figured when I see the Ranunculus, 
he had to be Calm Mind. Um, if he was a Calm Mind variant, I had to get my Manaphy. I had to go hard switch into my Manaphy, get up a Tail Glow, and pressure him. I could not allow the Renuculus to sweep my team. Knowing that, I couldn't be rec. I couldn't be obviously reckless, but at the same time, I had to be aggressive at the same time because I'm not bringing Stealth Rock this week like I did last time. Like um, like last time I didn't bring hazards, um, so and he sees that I didn't bring a hazard remover, so he's free to Leo for the wretched steel, but he could also Leo for the tornadoes T like he did last time. But at the same time, I can also just Leo for my Dread again simply because it gives me the best matchup against everything on his team. I can freely spam Dragon Claw against everything. We sent out the wretched steel, I click Fire Punch. Sends out the Amoongus, I click Fire Punch. Um, Renuclus can be a little bit of an issue if he's physically defensive with um Call Mine, so I had to be I had to be wary of that. And the other thing I was wor um worried about is his um asking for Call Mine because as I didn't bring my um Blissey, which doesn't really handle it that much that well. Um, I really don't really have a psychic resist, even though I have Mega Gardevoir, which isn't really a psychic resist because. Nucleus can easily run Shadow Ball, but if it runs Shadow Ball, that means it doesn't have Acid Armor, so that's a thing. So I had to be very wary of the Ridiculous set. But as I saw the video here, like I said, I'm just going to lead off with my Droid again here. I don't care what he leads off with. I do have a good matchup against most of his team, except for the, the Latios, the Entei, and the Ridiculous. So he's starting to lead over with Red Shield this time. Um, I lead off with my, with my um, Droid again. He gets his Rocks up for free. Can't stop it. I go for Fire Punch here. Still doing a clean 45% here, which is the clean 3 hit KO. Um, he goes for Toxic this time, which he didn't do last time. As I go for Fire Punch again, almost knock it out. Um, here, I almost went for Sucker Punch here, but considering he could have switched out, I go for Dragon Claw this time. I, mean, I go for Fire Punch again this time, just in case he decided to switch out and bypass my Sucker Punch. He goes into Ranuculus here. Um, I get worn out by Toxic. I go for Dragon Claw here, and that's absolutely nothing. And now he goes for acid armor, and this is what I was fearing. This is what I was talking about earlier. He sets up acid armor. So if he if his next move is call mine, I couldn't. I have to go hard into my manaphy because I cannot allow the manaphy my um this renuculus to sweep my team. It's it was way too early, and I couldn't risk my um team not being able to break this renuculus without getting a crit. And my only way of breaking through this renuculus is if I get my tail go up with my manaphy. Knowing this, I have to go hard into Manaphy no matter what he does here. I'm hoping he, he just goes straight for the recover here so I get up a free Tail Glow. Um, fortunately enough, he does go for a recover his turn, so I get a free turn of um, I get a free turn to set up a Tail Glow, which is fine by me. He just goes straight for the Side Shock here. I thought he would call mine, doesn't do much. So I get to free I get to fire up a free Shadow Ball here, and unfortunately for him, he gets a crit. I don't think it mattered in the most depending on his EV spread, but. The nucleus is gone, so one of the main, one of my hugest um, issues to my team was eliminated already by turn seven, which I cannot stress how much that that made me feel because it made it a lot easier for me to um to um work with my um I can set up for a late game sweep of my lantern now with the nucleus gone. It doesn't have no calm my shenanigans. Um, I can agility up and outspeed everything on his team, assuming he's not ch um, Choice Scarf Latios, but as he didn't bring the Sock, I'm assuming it already is, so... Still can play a little around it. He goes into the Amoongus here, I just want to click Psychic, and it drops to a Psychic. Um, don't mess with a plus three mana theme, my, my friends. <laughs> so he goes to Leveros Recovery, in he comes the um, Latios here, I'm just going to click my um, Shadow Ball here. Um, does a good amount with the Energy Ball here, get my Shadow Ball off, barely lives, but he does a hefty amount to this Latios. But it's all I need to um to come in and s <clears throat> excuse me. That's all of the damage I need to come in. Just go into my Droid again and try to pressure out with a sucker punch here. But I know he's gonna switch out and preserve this. So he goes into the Wretched Steel. I'm just gonna play Dragon Claw no matter what, simply because two a um Wretched Steel in that range cannot take two Dragon Claws. So I figured he goes for the Iron Head here. Hopefully I didn't get flinched. Getting my Dragon Claw off, down goes the Steel. And now I get to freely click Hyper Force when I'm back at Guard of War, which is great. Um, so I only have one turn left with my Jordan here. In come the Tornadoes. I just go for the second punch here. I get a lucky crit here as he decides to go for the Sludge Bomb. Knocks out my Jordan. That's fine. Jordan did its job. So now I get to go out into my Lantern here. I get up a free agility as long as he doesn't have like a HP Grass or something like that. He goes for Hurricane he Hits. I luckily don't get confused. I get my agility going up one more time. 
just like the last time I clicked Ice Beam. And down goes the Tornadus T. So all he has left now is the Entei and the Latias. In comes the Latias here. And he goes for the Energy Ball here and knocks out my Lantern, confirming he is indeed Scarf Latias. But since he's locked into Energy Ball here, I can freely go out into my Kirum and I just click Dragon Claw as he's forced to switch out into his Entei, which cannot take two Dragon Claws from a plus from my Life Orb um, Kirum Black. And I outspeed it, so down goes the Entei. So he has one more opportunity here. He has to force it, he has to lock himself into some move. He's not locking up in the side shock. I live on 13%. I get my dragon claw off, and that is going to be good game. So we beat so we beat the Toronto Star Raptors 3-0 here in the first round of the playoffs. So we now move on to the semifinals where we take on the Seattle Wingles, um, who knocked off the second best team in the league. And a team I have not played. At all this season, they came in. They they came in as a replacement coach for a team that I was supposed to play week two, but I took the forfeit win. So it's pretty it's pretty exciting to see how I fare against someone I've never played. Like we've seen each other's battles, but I'm still very excited. We we're, we're in the final four. What, what more can I say? Um, Karen Black coming through late game clutch. Lantern getting the um, clutch kill on the Tornado ST and Manaphy putting in the finest of work, breaking down the, um, being the Ridiculous, beating the Amoongus, and pretty much, pretty much beating the Latias for the most part. Um, and my Kieran Black taking that side shock with 14% health. Um, but nonetheless, we take a 3 0 win. We are in the final four. Um, I am very ecstatic, but we are now two wins away. From my very first championship. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. I got to take it one match at a time. But it's it's very fulfilling knowing that I'm going through the um going through this process and I'm hitting I'm hitting my stride at a very, very good time right now. And I think I'm playing well to the point where I can minimize my mistakes. I, I can see my I can see my game plan, I can see what I need to get rid of, what I need to sweep, and all that good stuff. So, let's go to keep it short so we get to the point. I don't want to, like, bore you with, like, useless treble and me going, me rambling on and on, stuff like that. So, if you did enjoy this battle, feel free to hit that, to hit that thumbs up, that like button. I really do appreciate the support, and I do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to come and watch these videos, because... Still getting the, to the hang of this whole YouTube thing, but I really do appreciate the support. And if you enjoy my content, please feel free to hit that red subscribe button. The support really means a lot to me and to the growth of my channel. But nevertheless, we are in the semifinals of the of the NES, and I cannot be happier. Um, I I also will be uploading my um, week six IBL match and my UBA matches will be coming. And hopefully the next couple of days, it's, I'm very behind on those, but nevertheless, I'm going to get the heck out of here. So, hope you guys enjoyed your day wherever you are, but until the next time, my name is Anthony, aka Tone, and I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. Later!